have my Botox done after nine months. I don't know why really. I haven't thought about it really in all these months but she kept texting me you know keeping me up to date when she will be back working and she was gonna come to the clinic near me and I was like hmm, I probably won't go and then she said well you can always come to my clinic so in the end I've made an appointment don't know what's the point of it really the world is going to fit around us who cares about Botox but hey ho might make me feel better and then I've got a lot of plans well one plan that is quite a big plan when I get home um, I want to clear out some of my kitchen cupboards so I have a huge like a corner cupboard that has so many dishes you know like serving dishes I've got I don't know things they use once at Christmas and they take up so much space Paul just bought bread maker I told you he just loves his kitchen gadgets even though he never ever cooks he's got no idea but honestly he loves his kitchen gadgets so now I've got a bread maker as well and I hate having all this stuff on the top of my worktop but I've got nowhere to put it in a cupboard because they are full so I'm thinking of clearing them out and maybe I don't know the dishes that I don't use so much put them somewhere in the garage and some maybe I need to get rid of that I never use and then I've got big drawer of like utensils you know um, like spatulas you know stuff like that can openers and that is overflowing now so I think I need to do that okay I'm done I'm on my way back now so funny because it took me like 35 minutes to get there two minutes procedure and back home so what I had done so I explained to her that I had a bit of a drop here she said so that means you don't want anything in your forehead so I had it here here and my cross feet cross feet and those of you in the US because you always ask me how much it is per unit and in the UK they don't work by units it's per area you pay per area so your cross feet is one area between your eyes is your second area and anything on your forehead is third area which means that I had two areas done today I will leave you the link to her website just in case you live near her she's near Reading um, so you can check the prices on her website but yeah they don't work here per unit money though with fillers they do they do it per mils um, with fillers but with Botox it's areas for some reason so that's what they do okay I'm home now I changed it to my trusted leggings as I will be clearing out the cupboards and uh, something just arrived from Amazon so I thought I'd show you I got this it's just a simple cotton pale pink sweater I've noticed I've got a mark here and I think I might have had some makeup on my hand so I have to wash it straight away um, yeah but it's it's really nice fits really nicely they did um, nice uh, pale blue as well so I might get that I just wanted to see first what this one would look like I got a sweatshirt as well I'll show you in a minute and also I was looking for inexpensive waterproof jacket for walking the dog because I have nice really warm you know puff, puffy jacket from where is it from can't remember now 
with a hood but it's not waterproof at all so i wanted something not too bulky you know just so it's waterproof so i can take him out when it's raining and you know not get soaking wet okay so that's this red shirt it's white it has um black trim here black sleeves what does it say on here find balance and it's got a black bottom here really really lovely very very soft and you know like some sweatshirts cotton sweatshirts can be quite bulky thick and stiff this one isn't it's lovely and soft i really like it so let me show you the jacket now okay so this is the jacket it's black it's from trespass and it was reduced i think from something if i remember right like 108 to 60 i think so um it's supposed to be very warm but it's it's very light you know it's not heavy and it's not bulky i reckon i should have gotten a size bigger i got size 12 um and if it's fine but if i had a thick jumper underneath it might be a bit you know it fits perfectly but it's just if you think you would wear something thick but people were saying in um in reviews that it's a very warm jacket so maybe i won't need to put anything too thick you know where i live winters are not that bad it's like a bit lower at the back can you see so it's like high and low and it's got a hood a swell fairy hood so yeah i'm pretty pretty happy with it really nice jacket okay let's go into the cupboard so this is the bread maker the poor god he got it from lakeland he only does a little loaf and i think there is one being made right now because paul made one in the morning and max at it all <laughs> and i am so upset because i have given up bread just over two weeks ago and i would have loved to eat that so yeah it smells gorgeous and here is the offending cupboard so as you can see it's a mess i mean i've got hundreds of balls who on earth needs six measuring jugs again that's paul for you i know i blame paul but honestly we have so many arguments about him buying things that i already have can you see i've got loads of different dishes that i hardly ever use like on daily basis so all that oh yeah and in here these are those um, tupperware dishes that you suck out the air out of and this is the drawer with my utensils is overflowing right now so these are like the covers for you know instead of putting cling film on it but they are not that good you just have to have really the right size of balls or whatever so yeah i need to attack this as well okay emptied it all so huge look at all the stuff look how many bowls i have rice cooker brand new i have never in my life cooked any rice in it in fact we don't even eat much rice so that was paul's purchase again honestly i have to divorce that man <laughs> and send him packing with all his gadgets you see these dishes lots of them I have here my pineapple slicer, my melon slicer. I have lots of these dishes. And then I've got this dishes. I've just found egg boiler. Um, right here. Oh, this is another obsession of Paul's. If you knew how many thermoses we have in a garage as well, I don't know what it is. More dishes. And I also have this and i probably used it twice in my life so that can go somewhere in the garage okay this is done i've got all that empty space there now and here just what i need 
Look what we've got. Louis, yes, that's for you. I got a Woof Woof box, which is a subscription box for your doggy. So we're going to unbox it with Louis and <laughs> then we will go through it and I tell you all about it. Let's see what you got, Louis. Look, this is all for you. Yeah. <gasps> You've got some toys. Look. How about that? Oh, it's lovely and soft. You've got a little sausage dog and a snake. Look at that snake. So he's got two toys in here. Oh, pet munchies, natural dog treats, duck and sweet potato stick. Duck is your favorite, Louis. You have two of those. What else have we got? Let's have a look. Like a cold, two coasters. Oh, and look, it's a portable water bowl. We like taking those in a car, don't we, when we go for a long trip. Oh, that's brilliant. What else do you have? What is that? Smart LED blinker light. Oh, so we don't lose you in the dark. <whistles> He's squeaky. Is that your new toy? if Louis likes his new munchie stick. Yes, you do. There he goes on his blanket and his cushion. It's a duck stick. You like duck, don't you? <laughs> Is that nice? Right, the duck munchies are a winner. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours since I've shown you the box. I had a shower, I washed my hair, I've redone my nails. I don't know if they look as nice as they do in real life. I just got a new color. Um, this is Indigo Nails Gel and this one is Merlin. Or Marilyn, Marilyn, as in Marilyn Monroe. Okay. So you've seen the box, you get a, a little leaflet in here, uh, it says what you get in a box. Let me just read you maybe more about this box. So it is a monthly subscription box and you get five or more items valued at over £40 and the box is £18.90 per month. And you can cancel the subscription anytime. So there is no that you know once you've signed up, you've signed up for a year, whatever. Um, also, what's good is that you first tell them about your dog. So you you tell them his name or her name, you tell them what sort of food he likes, uh, what toys they like, basically their preferences, so they can customize the box, especially for for your dog. Then they ship them immediately. Uh, shipping in the UK is free. Uh, for EU is seven pounds, and for the rest of the world, twelve pounds shipping. So yeah, I think it's really cute. He's got two toys. You know, toys, dog toys are so expensive on their own. So yeah, Louis is very happy with this box. So yeah, so check them out. I am not sure if they've given me any code or anything. I better go back and look at my emails. Um, but yeah, that's what he got in his. I think he's great. Um, we. It depends, you know, how how obsessed you are with your dog. I mean, you know, um, me and my husband, that dogs have got more toys than some children probably. 
Okay, uh, let me tell you about my necklace. Honestly, I have no idea where I bought it, how I got it, because today I've got a silver jewelry on. These earrings I remember I bought a long time ago in like a boutique. This is obviously not a diamond, wish it was, uh, but it's silver and I've got no idea where I bought it because as you know, I, I don't really wear silver jewelry. I just thought it would go better with my pearls <laughs> than gold, so I put silver jewelry on. I have quite a few piece, pieces. Um, I have a lot of um, rings and necklaces actually real silver because of my sister-in-law, you know, uh, she's a jewelry designer. So she's gifted me a lot over the years. I bought some but I don't wear as much silver jewellery as gold. I used to hate gold when I was, you know, teenager and even in my early 20s, I never really liked gold. Everything was silver. So I don't know how that changed, but I still like gold jewellery better. And I don't mean it has to be precious gold, you know, just the, the gold colour. Okay, uh, let me show you what I wear actually today. So I have nothing new on. This um, knitwear is from Zara last year. You know, they do them every year. I think I have another one that is like a round neck. Um, most of my jeans that you ever see me in are from Salsa Jeans they are my favorite um, and my shoes do you remember when we went to Madeira I bought them in Zara there they are really funky they have this um, perspex bit here I think I am losing weight um, this belt my Gucci belt is now on the last hole look how much I've got of it here and I used to be two holes in if um, or out if you know what I mean and I have no idea how much I weigh I don't really weigh myself because I think it's pointless you know I work out so I feel like I am more muscly than I've ever been in my life I always laugh and and tell Paul and even my personal trainer that I remember uh, days that um, you know before before I worked out that I remember walking in a summer say in like a loose dress um, in a park and I could actually feel every part of my body wobbling I wasn't you know terribly overweight or anything but I just all my weight was from my fat not from muscles so I was wobbling, my thighs would be wobbling, my bum would be wobbling, my belly would be wobbling, whereas now I don't really wobble. So I feel that, you know, when you work out, you you might weigh more than what you look like because of the, the ma muscles are ma much more dense. So, and I don't see the point in weighing yourself because, come on, I can tell if I'm losing weight or putting weight on, in how I fit in my clothes so like I never thought that I mean I don't think I've lost loads of weight because I didn't wake up one day and I think oh my god I'm looking skinny it's just that I've noticed first thing my boobs got a tiny bit smaller because that's usually first thing that goes and with the belt I can always tell by the belt so um yeah i feel like i'm losing weight. also i think a lot of it is to do with you know i haven't been feeling mentally very good because of everything that is happening um it really worries me what is happening in the world and i've lost my appetite a bit but also i've cut out bread potatoes pasta stuff like that so i haven't had that for about three weeks now but you know if i so i eat just salads and vegetables and meat 
but when there is time of the month uh, and I fancy something really sweet I will never deny myself so if I really really want something sweet I have <laughs> I've been eating Max's Nutella so I have like a couple of teaspoons of Nutella and that satisfies me you know but um, and I think I, I've shown you and told you about the bread maker uh, when Paul made this first bread and I had I think a couple of slices because I just could not resist and probably three hours later I had real stomach pain and the next day I felt bloated I always knew it you know I used to eat so much bread I easily ate six slices a day of bread you know so I definitely feel better for not eating it but I'm not as happy not eating it so like I said if I'm if I've gone to barbecue or something I will eat it I'm not gonna deny myself you know if I really really fancy something but yeah I just think I'm, I've lost a bit of weight which is not a bad thing um, it's around here especially you know I it's this bit that always bothers me n nothing else really um, so yeah all right, my lovelies, i see you tomorrow. I should have, should have sat down for this conversation. My arm really aches now. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Hello, my lovelies. I've just been to my P.O. box because I haven't been in there for ages. And I see I've got loads of letters. So I'm really, really looking forward to reading them. Hopefully you will make me feel better. <clears throat> I'm just not doing very well mentally um, you might have noticed that I only had my Monday video last week I didn't have anything on Wednesday I just don't feel like you know sometimes I mean I have good days but most days I don't feel like being all cheery and happy you know and I hate it I hate that um that is all doom and gloom and I don't want to get into it because then you get into arguments with people um you know I'm not a political person I don't get involved in conspiracy theories I deal in facts and Basically, I would like everyone to remember that the government is not the boss of us unless you live in China they are public servants they are only there because we chose them and we pay their wages and they are not there to boss us around that's all you need to remember so anyway things are not good <laughs> things are not good at all and i'm afraid it's probably gonna only get worse so so yeah i'm very preoccupied with all that and i feel miserable most of the time if you don't see me as often you know on on my channel that's why um, you know when I have a good day and feel great I then feel that because you know yeah my Monday chats are mon Monday chats about what I'm doing my life and everything but um, so I have to tell you how I feel but I don't want every video of mine to be doom and gloom you know um, so I will only do a video when I'm feeling okay. I will also leave you one video in the description box, link to a video, facts video. So if anybody is interested, you can go and watch that. I'm mostly looking forward to reading your letters. That makes me feel much better than anything that anybody could send me makeup or whatever anyway I will 
come back tomorrow and show you what I've got, whatever I got sent. Um, because as you can probably tell, today is not a good day. Uh, I'm sure you're all feeling a bit down and and not normal and I don't want to add to it, you know? <laughs> so um, I'll come back tomorrow when I'm hopefully feeling better so I can be a bit more upbeat. Hello my lovelies. I feel much better today. So, uh, as promised, I said I will come and show you what I got in my PO box. There wasn't that much. Thank you so much for your postcards and letters. I got a postcard from Portland um, from Amy. Thank you so much. Even postcards, that's so, so nice because it just makes me feel, you know, you've made the effort, you thought of me. So I really appreciate it. And I got a postcard from Holland, from Sandra. I hope you all doing okay. Thank you for that. Then I got a letter from Sher Shelley from uh, Gra Grand Island. Thank you so much. Your letter was very, very lovely. I also got a little note, thank you note from Chrissy from California. I hope you are doing good and staying safe. I've seen some terrible things that are happening there in the US and I hope it will be all over soon for you. I love this card, find beauty everywhere. That should be our motto girls. Um, and this is from Martha from US. Thank you so much, Martha. I'm glad you found me too. And I'm sure what you're saying here is very true. And then I got another little thank you note from Miriam. I'm sure it's Miriam. I'm sorry because sometimes, you know, I can't read your writing. <laughs> um, but I think it's Miriam lovely thank you note so thank you so much like i said i really really appreciate it right so what i got in my box is i got loads well loads i i got some few masks from solista i i am so grateful thank you so much to the girls at solista because i love these masks and i think because if my I don't know if I was talking about my favorites um, or in my skincare video, I, I said, oh, I need to get some more because I've run out. <laughs> so they sent me some more. Thank you so much. I really appreciate them. But the exciting thing is, I think this is new product for them, is the Solista Beauty Magic Cleanse. So, you know, I have the Halo ones. I use these and I bought some from Amazon. And they are okay, but you know, they are not as good. The Halo ones are good. Uh, these little cleansing pads, they washable. And you know, I like to take my makeup off with a cleansing balm. So that's what I do. I melt my makeup with the cleansing balm off first, and then I uh, wet that and take it off with one of these. But this one has like a soft side on one side and a bit more rougher one on this one which is brilliant as well for exfoliating because of course I used one last night as soon as I saw them I used one last night and I love it so it is because it's rewashable it's designed as a sustainable cleansing solution to the super fine antibacterial fibers reach deep within pores to help remove daily buildup and grime so thank you again to Solista, Naomi, I love it. You know I love it. Okay, and then I got um, new product again from Catherine Zita-Jones, you know, the Casa Zita-Jones um, line. So you've seen me, um, I had some eye pencils and mascara. Actually, I have that mascara on today. But these are new eye pen pencils. These are, so the other one was just called eye contact and they were just like you know the normal pencils that you sharpen 
uh, this is eye contact perfect smoky eye pencil and i've got uh, the brown one on today love this i probably like these more than the other ones because you know i never really use my eye pencil to make a perfect wing because with the shape of my eyes is quite impossible i use it you've seen me many times when i do my makeup on the outer corner and then i like to smudge it well this one is the retractable and it has a smudger on this end so i love that so i probably prefer this pencil i mean the other pencil is perfectly good but depends what you want it for so for smudging i definitely like that so i got brown one and i think navy yeah this is a brown one <laughs> butterfingers this is really dark brown one i actually have been using more of a dark brown pencils than black they're a bit less harsh i suppose and this is the navy the navy is very dark as well can you see i probably can't see that's the navy one and the dark brown one they are very creamy smudge really nicely let's do it again yes obviously you have to build it up so if you wanted to do it like a smoky eye but with a pencil you can do it with that so yeah i think i prefer these ones than the original ones oh it has a quite a good staying power look it's been just like a minute and it's quite you know still there Okay, lovelies, I will show you my outfit of the day today as well. Okay, so today I have on another pair of <laughs> salsa jeans. Uh, the ones you saw um, the other day were cropped. These, most of them come really long, so unless I wear boots in the winter, I cut them and I just turn them up or just leave it as a raw edge. And my shoes are, you know, those Valentino-esque uh, flip-flops. They like the jelly ones. I, I bought them from this store that has really inexpensive but quite nice shoes. I think it's called Lindsay Shoes. I will leave you the link. And this top, I think I've shown it to you. I bought it on sale probably a month ago. It's from phase eight, so they don't have them anymore. But you know, it's that type of comfortable top that I like. I know a lot of you, when I uh, show these type of tops, say to me, oh, it doesn't suit you at all, makes you look square. Well, it may be does, but I don't care. I really like that relaxed look, comfortable. It's a bit longer at the back. I just like it, so. So there. All right, my lovelies. I think, God, it's so bad this light in here. I think that's all for this vlog. Have a wonderful week and stay fabulous. Bye.